back in another tutorial, another snow scene this week. Something nice and warm, with some lovely warm colours, sunlight colours coming through trees um, onto the snow. So some lovely warm and cool colours this week. And next week, um, I might do the four season um, tutorial. So I'm splitting a canvas into four pieces and I'm painting the same scene in a different uh, season. Just to show you how I would approach something like that. So that's the plan, that's the plan, that's the plan that might change. Um, I want to show you a painting I have here which I just finished uh, last night. And I got some great compliments on it and comments as well about the tutorial. So I might do a tutorial on this as well. Now it might be a week or two before I get it done because I need to get through one or two um, tutorials which I have planned first. So it won't be immediate, okay? But I will get it done. So look, let me just turn the camera here so you can see what I was thinking. Um, oh yeah, here it is. So I was thinking about this. I done this last night. I was sitting down on my couch inside and I was just thinking about something to do, a bit of practice. So I tried this. It's Morn Abbey in County Cork. Very old kind of a church, ruined. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about something like that. Isn't that lovely? Uh, we can go into some detail about getting the effect of brick and stone and getting some moss on the wall that kind of thing that's just something i was thinking about and you can see there's a lovely direction of light coming from the right hand side which casts a kind of a shadow up there in the deep corner that's nice isn't it so i was thinking about doing something like this uh, i think i will actually it's a lovely painting i might not do the very same scene uh, i have another one uh, which is from Bally Big, i think uh, just outside Mallow in County Cork. It's a very similar kind of a ruin like this, so I might do that. Um, but yes, that's certainly something I might do. Um, so here we go. This is the canvas I have ready today. Um, I have my colours already on my palette, and I will hook up. I will hook up my camera here to this uh, jig I have overhead, and we'll uh, <coughs> crack on and have a bit of fun with this. Okay, so don't go anywhere. Okay, okay, so, so we could see, see the picture on our screen there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a beautiful kind of sunset snow scene. It's really, really lovely. And it can be simplified. I'm not sure how I could simplify this. Um, but create a nice, a nice atmospheric painting as well at the same time. Okay? So let's, let's, let's just try it and see how we go. Um, I'll tell you my colours. I have titanium white, Naples yellow, cadmium yellow pale, a little burnt umber, some black, some phthalo blue, a little magenta, just a little, and some alizarin crimson. So they're the colours. Uh, I think we'll be fine with those. I think that's all we need, to be honest. And what I'm going to do now next is take a pencil and just draw my kind of horizon line. So where the land meets the rest of the painting, the sky, and so forth. Let's just draw a nice little line there. And it's a little angle on it. A very, very slight angle. We can adjust that as we go. That's it. That's all we need to do. Now I'm just going to use my large stubby brush for this uh, but I want to get plenty of paint on this and you know I'll take my time and do it nice so I'm thinking I'll put that down and I'm going to take a slightly larger brush let's say well, let's have a look and see what we have here look um, we have a couple of nice brushes this is this is a 12mm brush size 12 and a size 6 um, so let's, uh, let's, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, what do, we do? I think, I think we try this one, okay, so just some regular flat brush, anything on, you can use that brush if you like, it's up to yourself, I'm just going to dampen this on very slightly in my turpentine, little drop of turpentine, nothing else, and some tissues, plenty of tissues, let me just roll up some tissue here just for cleaning my brush as I go, keep the colour nice and bright, and as you can see on the photograph, we have a lovely big patch of rich yellow hair, don't we? So let's get that in first. I'm going to dampen my brush very slightly, just quickly. And let's take some cadmium yellow, lots of rich cadmium yellow. Not a lovely rich colour there, no? And let's take a touch of titanium uh, white in that. Now I want this to move around nicely on my canvas, so I'm just going to take a tiny drop of turpentine, just a tiny drop, just to soften the paint a little. It's not very, very thick paint, 
And I have found my canvas toys. I know what one's rather. One called my own primer, and it's probably smooth. And I gave a quick look at the very funny template, which just to soften, soften the grain slightly. So look, let's, let's get this in there now. That's a bit yellow for me. So what I did was I just cleaned the brush just like that. I'm not going to be the proper thing. I'm going to take a touch of, now let me think, a touch of magenta. Let's try some magenta first. And that will just help take the kind of the bite out of the yellow. So now you can see it's a much softer, warmer kind of yellow, isn't it? And I'm just going to fill in this patch on this side with that colour. Now it's very, very whitey right in the middle, isn't it? It's a very whitey kind of yellow right in the middle. <coughs> and let's see if we can achieve that. I'm basically just going to take, with a relatively dry brush now, okay? Um, some cadmium yellow pale and plenty of white. And that will give us a very whitey yellow. Now it's going to mix back into the colour very quickly. So I'm cleaning my brush each time with a brush it's dirty and I'm giving it a quick. Just to give, just to keep it nice and bright and fresh. So there we go, a nice bit of whitey yellow right in there, you can see that okay. And as it comes along now, um, in fact we can leave it up there like that, I'm going to start warming it slightly as it comes down, so you can see that it's going to be yellow hair then it turns to kind of pinkish, and then it's salmon again kind of pinkish colour and then it goes to pink and there's some lovely colours in there. So I'm going to start taking, now with two choices we can either use magenta or crimson. So I'm going to try crimson. Let's try a little crimson and let's take some yellow and let's take plenty of white then with that. So that's going to be slightly warmer colour now we see. It's kind of a salmon-y, yellowy salmon kind of colour. I'm going to get more white, I do apologise, let me just get some white here, let me put plenty of white on my palette now this time, lots of white, look at that. And I'm just going to have a bit of fun with this. Let's take more white into that. Again, I'm adding a little touches of turpentine every now and again, just at the corner of my brush, just a little dab of turpentine, just to help it kind of flow that little bit better, that's all. And I'm just swirling it across there, or with the canvas like that. Um, I'm going to start adding more pink as I go. I'm thinking magenta. The magenta seems to be kind of standing out to me there for some reason, so I'm thinking that. Again, a little drop of top of the line just to soften it up slightly. And let's start getting pinky with this. Now, there we go, look at this. And soften that back into the yellow slightly. So now we have some of these pinks going on, don't we? And look, I'm going to soften that right into the yellow, just there and there. Okay, can you follow that so far? Now, I apologize if there's any kind of a glare on the canvas today. Uh, it's quite sunny outside, so there's a lot of sun kind of coming through the windows at the moment. Um, so I do apologize for that. I'm going to start taking a touch of crimson perhaps in this. And I might even take a touch of magenta also. Let's see if we can get some nice pinky colour going. There we are, look at that. That's nice and pink, isn't it? And what I'm going to do at this stage is I'm just going to put this brush down for one moment and take another one. Something very similar, look, the same size. A very warm brush. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it's dampened it very slightly. And you can see there's a very whitey colour on top there, so I'm just going to take, with this damp brush, just put some white, and let's just put some white across here. Like so, let me fit that hair off the brush there, a bit of hair on the brush. And we could even take a touch of that peachy colour, just a touch, and pull it across. And then I'm going to take this colour here, this yellowy colour, and I'm going to pull that across as well. Just giving it that little tint, a slight little tint of colour. Okay, so it's not pure white. It's not pure white at all. And we can then switch back to another brush, and I'm going to go really nice and pink up with all of these little trees off in the distance. So I'm going to take some magenta, some crimson, 
Uh, let's take a very small, tiny touch of Taylor Blue. Now, Taylor Blue is very, very rich and strong, so be very careful. All you want is a tiny little dab on the corner of the brush. A tiny bit look, and it goes a long way. See? You see that? So, a tiny bit at a time. And I keep my mixes on very kind of thin. So, I, it's, it's, for all I it's a very thin mix. Um, I, I'm using... A lot of artists would put on lots of thick paint with oils, but I prefer to keep the early layers quite thin. It just gives you more control later on, I think, down the line. So you can see I'm scrubbing this very thin layer now onto my canvas, pulling it across gently into that yellow. There we go, just say on there. Only just say on there. And sit back now for a moment, take a look. Let's see how that's looking. Okay, that's quite nice. That's okay. Um, let me see. I'm going to start putting in uh, some structure of the trees up here. And what I'm going to do is take some fill of blue again and take some crimson. Now, I want this more on the pink side, okay? And I'm staying away from too much blue, so it's more red than blue. Lots more red. So it's a pinky, kind of a clumby kind of a colour. That's what you're kind of aiming for, I suppose. Take a touch of magenta, if you think that's going to help. And let's walk around and create... Now that's still a bit blue for me. So I'm going to take more crimson. Let's walk around and create the outline of some trees. Very, very rough outline, see? And kind of softening this colour now up into that and white that we put up there, see? That we could put already on. And then pull that colour on. There we go. Pull that right down like that. Creating a little texture here and there, you see, it's just the impression of things going on off in the distance. So we'll give this a quick thing now I'm going to soften it across into this yellow psyche so I'm going to start adding a little bit more crimson to this because, because it is quite pinky around here you see I'm just going to soften that up and because it's pink it's going to mix lovely with that yellow and create some lovely subtle tones so I'm just dabbing dab 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 all the kind of circular motion softening it into the yellow there and there And of course, when it's softening into the yellow, then it's creating new tones and new hues and new colours. Oranges, pinks, yellows. Isn't that lovely? So this is a little bit of fun now mixing with this. It's just all, all I'm doing is dabbing, that's all. It's very, very simple. Don't be afraid. It's only paint. It's only a bit of canvas. If you make a mistake, you can just go back over it again. You can either wipe it off with some pop and paint and, and tissue or you can let it dry and paint back over it again. So don't worry too much. Alright? I promise it'll be fine. I'm just not taking it too seriously, that's all. I'm just enjoying myself here now with this. A lot of fun. And I'm going to start adding some of those warm orangey tones. So I'm taking some crimson with a touch of yellow. And I'm going to start adding some of those warm tones just up there, look, just here and there. So the sunlight is kind of catching some of the tips of the trees. Does that make sense? You see that? And we could even go with more yellow, a touch of white. And we could add a little of that up there too. Isn't that lovely? So the sunlight is just kind of catching the tips of some of those trees here and there. And we could soften some of that down. And then what I'm going to do is give my brush a really good clean now. Look, get all that colour off. And let's pick up a little yellow, a little touch of white. And let's introduce some of that into the pink, just here and there. Look, just to soften it across. And 
and stand back. Just sit back slightly, take a look, see how that feels. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start adding some white, a very whitey pink over in here. So let's give my brush a quick clean and I'm going to take some white and a touch of that pink there, look for a little touch. And then I'm going to bring some of that, in fact let's just take white on it all. And let's soften that into that pink, just at the base there, look. And it's softening around. What I want to do is create a kind of a misty feeling. So let's create some of this. Now you don't have to do this. You saw me doing this loads of times before, didn't you? Just a little white, and go around with little soft little motions, very randomly. You see, just like this, this, up and down, up and down. Then clean the brush, and with the more white, and now let's bring it right across. Clean the brush again, with the more white, then we get to the yellow, let's get nice and bright out with this. Some of that. Put the brush on, and the next step is to get a nice soft brush, a nice little blender brush, and I'm going to soften just here and there, look, with the blender brush. Take the some of the brush strokes away. Because I want it because I want a nice and kind of soft and misty, it's a nice little snorting, misty colours. Everything is very soft, blending it together nicely. And you could even soften this area, you see this area here? Let's give it a blender brush very quickly there. And you could even soften some of these in too, look. Very gently pull the blender brush just across and soften them into that background. Isn't that lovely? There. Now we have some nice colours going through there, don't we? Next thing I want to do is I want to put in some. Now we could even lighten this a bit more if you like. Okay, let's get another brush and lighten it a bit more. Uh, a dry brush, some cadmium yellow, plenty of white. Look, and let's just go in right here and give this a bit of a kick. There we are. Just in the centre, it's very, very bright there, isn't it? Now, that a little, a little better. Let me get more white. Let me get some more white on my pads here. I don't want to go far to the white, don't we? Now, okay, let's give the brush a good clean there and let's pick up some nice fresh white. That's a bit better now, look. And soften it, just flick it left and right, soften it in. There. Now we have it. Now we're talking. Right. Done. I'm going to start adding some nice little trees into this nice colour now, but I'm not going to do just plain brown trees. Um, I'm going to use some of these pinks. So I'm taking a small brush, okay? It's a, it's a very, very small, tiny brush. I'm dampening it. And I'm going to go into... Let's take a touch of crimson. And I'll take a touch of sailor blue. So we have this kind of a mauve, pale mauve colour now, right? And just off in the distance, I'm going to just suggest some of those kind of coming through here and there. Just for this section now, right? And I'm going to suggest a couple here and there on the left hand side. A lot of these are will kind of be softened in to the background. So it's just, um, you know, it's only a suggestion, that's all. And then we'll take a slightly bigger brush. Okay, the next size up perhaps. And I'm going to mix a nice mauve pinky colour now for some of the more close of trees, okay? So I'm taking a little touch of tail on blue and some crimson and I'm going to take a touch of burnt umber as well. So take the burnt umber 
and, and let's, let's get, get some nice thick thick of trees and there's a nice of water in as well in here like so so here we go now with a clean brush I'm going to take a hint of Naples yellow and some white I'm going to go down just on one side of this and add some light into that. Let's take a touch of pink actually. To give that nice kind of sunny colour. Sunny colour hitting hitting that tree. So let's go again. Naples yellow. Touch of pink. And we could even suggest one or two in the background as well okay now let's switch to a slightly larger brush let's go for um, let me see what brushes I have here now look at loads of lovely brushes here I'm thinking a small small stubby brush perhaps if I can find it should be here somewhere Ah, there it is. I'll go with a small stubby brush for a change. So a nice little flat brush. And let's get some proper bigger trees done here now with this. Um, I'm going to start taking some blue, some Taylor blue, a little touch of white, plenty of crimson. And I take a touch of black as well this time. So we're getting much darker with the colours now. Uh, touch more of the pink. Let's go with some magenta in this. So a very kind of a purpley, dark kind of a greyish purple colour. And on this side, um, I'm just going to put one tree in just here, disappearing up. Now clean the brush because I picked up a little touch of green there. It almost went a little green on me. Um, let's. I just want to warm this. So I'm kind of playing around with colours now, trying to get the right colour little bit of magenta and some burnt umber. Let's try that. And let's go up here with this. Start out thick and make it thinner as you go up. There we are. Um, let's take a touch of magenta with a touch of burnt umber again. Let's get slightly warmer. And push that colour in there. That's a nice colour actually, I like that. And um, let's... Hmm. I'm going to put one right up here, a nice thick one. But then I'm going to add some nice warmth to one side of it. I'll show you what I mean there now in just a minute. So I'm going to make that nice and dark now, all right, with some black and some brown at the very end. And then what I'm going to do with my little round brush, I'm going to take a nice rich orange. So I'm going to take some magenta with some cadmium yellow, make a nice rich orange, and I'm going to just put that rich orange up along here, see? I'm going to soften it in so it's almost like the sunlight catching one side of the tree. Don't know if you can see that, but there it is. And I might do the same with this one just here. This with a little touch of Naples yellow and a touch of pink. And then I could even make a kind of a really warm pink for the bottom of this tree here. So all those kind of sunny colours popping through and hitting the tree. You see? It's just a hint but it's there, you can see it. Now what I'm going to do is I get my, my soft brush again. And I'm going to soften very gently some of these trees just into the background very gently. 
because I want to create a nice soft kind of a, a nice soft feeling with the sun kind of coming through so everything is kind of almost fading then slightly there isn't that nice so moving on what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create one or two bushes just in front of that tree up there and I'm going to get my little bushy brush for this it's a very worn flat brush okay let me zoom in here so you can see it's just a regular flat brush but it's really really badly worn that's all it is and I'm going to just dampen it very slightly and dry it then I'm going to pick up some uh, let me see now I'll go with some magenta and some burnt umber to begin with and I'll take a touch of blue as well so I have a very dark rich kind of a plummy colour and I'm going to just add just a little suggestion of some foliage here and there so I'm going in front of this big tree here then okay with some of that foliage although it's a winter scene there is still a little bit of foliage here and there and I might even go a step further than that let me show you let's put some snow we don't have snow in the photograph but I'm going to put a little touch of snow in the photograph or on, on, on the painting so let's take a touch of crimson and plenty of white very light whitey kind of a pink there now don't we and look why not let's try it look pop it in just here and there just little clumps of it isn't that lovely dab 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 let's not overdo it I just want to suggest way off in the background just a little snow on the tree that's all only just very subtle there now isn't that lovely and sit back just kind of have a quick look yeah I'm, I'm happy enough with that let's get um, what I want to do next is get some of this land in first before I bring the trees forward all right so I'm just going to get my small flat brush any old worn flat brush at all and I'm going to mix a nice soft bluey pink again for this so some thalo blue some crimson now plenty of crimson again like before little dab of turpentine let me just check this now and see how this looks right I'm happy enough with that so you can see it's a kind of a plummy colour isn't it and let's just pull that in just along here first for now and now when I, this is important okay when I get to the other side let me just put a little bit in here when I get to this side I'm going to make it very pinky and, and little touches of orange so let me take some magenta touch of crimson plenty of white and let me put a hint of a kind of a pinky colour you see in here so the light is kind of popping through this way now I'm going to soften that in and even soften it into the distance as well look just a little here and there I'll leave it at that just for now and then I'm going to take my soft brush again and I'm going to soften this kind of into that background there very gently just make it nice and soft and we could even do the same with a clean blender brush here see so it's nice now and kind of lovely and soft
How about that? Isn't that lovely? Next, what I'm going to do is start getting in some nice proper trees and then we can work on some shadows, yes? How does that sound? Now just let me redefine some of these. There we go. I'm just bringing it down very slightly. And we have some thicker trees now coming up, don't we? So I'm going to get a slightly larger, nice flat look, slightly flat brush. Um, the small stubby one will do fine, or even the medium stubby one will do is just as well. And I'm going to get some nice proper darker trees here now, and we're going to get cooler as well. So let's take some phthalo, phthalo blue. Let's take a touch of crimson. And let's take a touch of black. A little touch of black. I'm with that colour now. Let's put a couple, a couple of nice trees, kind of wiggling around here and there. Uh, let's add a touch more pink. So let's put some warmer ones off in the distance. Okay. And let's even go more pink again. With a touch of burnt umber. Get some nice warm ones, you see? Little ones are off in the distance. So we're just kind of changing the colours around here and there, just as we go. Um, I'm going to take some white with a touch of phthalo blue and put in some kind of pale bluey kind of ones off in the distance as well. And the blue will give some real nice distance and depth also. Now I'm just being very kind of loose at the moment, very quick and very loose. We can darken them as we go. I'll switch to the pointy brush in a sec and we'll do some nice work with the pointy brush. Uh, let's take a touch of black, touch of magenta. Okay. And nicely. Again, we're going to sit back, take a look. Uh, we could even create a little snow now on some of these as well. So let me just switch very quickly to um, a smaller brush. And I'm going to take some burnt umber and mix it into that dark colour we had. And I'm just going to define, just, just define some of these trees here. Just that little bit more. There we are. This is fun, isn't it? It's a nice, easy, relaxing kind of a painting to do. Just mess around with some colours. Just be very careful not to mix any blues into the yellows because you'll end up with some green. Now, I do have a hint of green just in this tree, but I can fix that. That's easily done. A couple of quick little branches just here and there. Look. Very kind of very loose, very free, just having a bit of fun, not worry too much. And I love painting like this, I love painting a kind of a loose, a loose kind of a style. Um, you know, I don't like having to worry too much about every single little detail. You can if you like, that's fantastic. But I just love having a bit of fun like this. Let's get some little branches and twigs in here and there, shall we? Again, plenty of turpentine. And that will really help it kind of flow around. We take a touch of black because they do get kind of quite dark up around the top. And again, I'm keeping it simple. I'm not going into way too much detail. I'm just simplifying this now. And you can put your own little twist on it if you like. You can add little details to it. You can add 
extra trees or you can leave a couple out you can just put in one or two trees if you like you know it's completely up to yourself it's your painting and you can do whatever you like okay don't be shy now let me take some nice light pink and just add one or two touches of light pink here and there as well see I'm just kind of suggesting in the distance that's all um, we can even have a couple of light blue ones you see it's very kind of soft and just mess around with it have a bit of fun now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get another round brush okay just a normal old round brush and I'm going to put some up here now because this is in a sunny area I'm going to have to use some warm colouring so let's take some cadmium yellow with a little touch of the crimson and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put some of that in look so we have really kind of a sunlit tree just there isn't that lovely and it almost kind of disappears into the sun doesn't it So I'm going to soften that now very soon with um, my blender brush. And let me get some nice rich colour just down here. Like so. And take a bit of that. Pop it in as we go up. Okay, that's quite nice now, isn't it? So it's almost giving that effect now of the sun kind of coming right through those trees and creating a very bright kind of halo on the tree, isn't it? Now touches of cadmium yellow with white, little touches, and soften it right out into that sunlit area. And we can even do the same, one or two here. Isn't this lovely? See, it's just so easy, so fun, just no pressure. So my next step, what's the next step? Right, so I've come this far with some of my trees, okay? Um, what I'm, actually, what I will do first, forgive me, I'll take some black and I'm going to just add a little touch of that black here and there to some of these trees at the bottom. I just want them to stand out just that little bit more. There we go. It's just a little look, only a tiny bit at the bottom. Next job, I'm going to take my small stubby brush and I'm going to create some shadows on this section first and then we can move forward, you see. So I'm going to take a nice shadowy colour. Let's take some phthalo blue and let's take some crimson. And that's not a bad colour. A touch of crimson now, not too much. I want this more on the blue side for the shadows. And let's look, let's try it. Let's just pull the shadow. So the sun is here. So all the shadows up here are going to be very horizontal, aren't they? They're going to be all just a very slight angle. So look, let's just pull them through just like that. And we could even add a touch more pink here and there. You see there we go and we have a couple way off in the distance you can hardly even see the shadows on some of these now because they're so far off uh, let's make one or two of them slightly warmer There we go. Isn't that lovely? And we could even add more phthalo blue into some of them. So just vary them kind of slightly, you know? Know what I mean? Okay, let's have a look. There. Not bad. We can adjust the colouring as we need to, as we go. Um, let's take a nice pinky kind of a one for this. So because the sun is here, this, this shadow will come down at this kind of an angle here. Okay, 
Let's pull that down just like that. And in fact, we'll even have some shadow in behind here as well. Let's also suggest one or two coming off from somewhere off in the distance. See? Just a little flick there and there. And then we can soften that with our little blender brush. Give it a wipe on some tissue. And let's just soften very gently, look, very gently. Talk nice and softly to these now and that'll help. Nice and gently, look. There you go. Coming down and it softens some of these also. There we are, look at that. Lovely. Lovely soft colours. There. Now we have one big one here, don't we? So let's get that in. Let's take some phthalo blue and some crimson. And I'm going to keep this on the warm side. So when you're painting something like this, okay, when you have a very warm area, the shadows will be much warmer. And if you have a cooler side, the shadows will be much cooler. So you can see right around here now the shadows are very warm, aren't they? So let's add a little bit more red into the shadows on this side. Okay, how's that? Now there, look, and soften it up into the tree. And that'll do for now. Again, just soften the edge. Because it's the snow, it's going to soften into the snow slight, slightly, here and there. And that's one. We have another tree now in front of this, but we can, we can mess around with it. We can do this as we like. It's our painting. Let's, um, let's fill the rest of this in, yes? Let's get some crimson. Little touch of blue. Little touch. And plenty of white. Let's bring that nice kind of warm pink all the way down here. Okay, soften it even here and there, look. There we go. As we come across, it's going to start getting cooler, isn't it? So I'm taking little tiny touches of phthalo blue as I go. Smallest little touch. Phthalo blue, some crimson, little touch of white. And I keep taking little bits of colour until I get the, the right tone that I want. There, that's not bad. It'll do for now. You enjoying this? Isn't this lots of fun? Nice, easy snow scene. Well, you can make it, you can make it easy, you can make it complicated. It's up to yourself. I've kind of gone slightly over complicated with this. Um... But look, I want to do it nice so you can get the full impact, the full effect. I'm just putting that shadow down there. Look, see? Just like that. Ratio. It is coming on nice. Again, I'll soften this. My soft brush. Just soften it down. And what I'm going to do next, before I continue, right, is I'm going to take my small stubby brush again, give it a really, really good clean on some tissue. A really good clean now. Keep it nice and clean like so. And then I'm going to mix a nice sunlit colour to come through some of these. Okay, you can see on the photograph there we have some lovely sunlight colour kind of creeping through here and there. So let's do that. I'm going to use some magenta, tiny, tiny bit, plenty of Naples yellow, and then some white. And this is a colour I use very often to, to simulate sunlight coming through hills and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little bit of that down here and there, see? Clean the brush when it gets dirty, then go back in again. Soften it off here now with your finger. Look, just soften the way off there. 
and I'm going to go across then into these areas as well with that look down between some of the trees okay now let me just get a touch more magenta in this and some white so the Naples yellow has that lovely kind of sunny colour about it rather than you, you can use cadmium yellow but that's very rich I find the Naples yellow is very um, as a as a colour it's very forgiving I'll say very very forgiving colour so you can do a lot with Naples yellow as an alternative to cadmium yellow just for this type of thing anyhow um, ok I'm going to put more pink into it as I come across it's getting a little more pinky isn't it see there isn't that lovely so little touches of sunlight kind of just creeping in between some of those shadows here and there and we can bring some down even like this let's make it slightly more pinky as it comes down I can see it's more pinky the farther down it comes so it's more of a light pink and it's just soften it here and there and we can even start adding a little touch of blue to this So it's kind of going into a cooler colour, isn't it? Um, okay, touch more pink into that. And I'm only just creating a little texture because it's a snow scene. I'm just kind of indicating or just even giving the impression of rough kind of snow here and there. Understand? Now I'm bringing in a little bit of that bluey colour down here as well here and there and let me just catch some of that light colour here and there and then I'll soften now I'll soften this first I'm going to go back to it again but I just want to soften what I have done first very gently and then I want to sit back and take a look so sit back for a moment take a look at what you have alright that's not bad at all I'm thinking a little more sunlight just around here just to get a lovely impact isn't that right let's try it let's get some Naples yellow um, let's try a touch of crimson this time and in fact we can even try a touch of cadmium yellow also let's get that nice rich sunny colour ok that's too yellow so a bit more pink ah there we go a little bit along here a little bit on that side that's lovely now isn't it and this got really bright with some crimson and some white here and there and then let's just soften that very gently left to right look or right to left left to right whichever you like basically just soften it into that snow okay that's coming on quite nice isn't it um, I do want to add a little touch more of that bright color just down here that's it just soften it in just a little now let's put one or two big trees in yes one or two big big trees I'm going to take um, ba, 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 ba. I'll try this bigger brush for a change this bigger flat brush let's go right in to some burnt umber little drop of turpentine so we want it nice and wet again 
and some black, nice dark ones this time, and even a touch of tail or blue as well. Here we go, let's do it. One, two, three, go. Look at that. That was fun, wasn't it? Again, blue and some black. Nice big tree there, look at that, look. And let's get some burnt umber. Let's work some burnt umber into that. And we put another one beside that. Let's take some burnt umber and red for a change. Um, let's put one here. Right, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. Just to give me more control. So some black, some burnt umber. Now let's get this nice little one in here. Right, I'm going to take some nice dark colour now for the back of that. Uh, some blue and some black. Let's keep it cool. Let's keep it nice and cool. And I'm going to put some of that just down here. So I'm going to darken this right down here now. Okay, and we could even suggest a little snow on the left-hand sides of one or two of them. So as if you were painting a birch tree, something similar to that. Could try it, if you like. Now, first of all, let's just get some nice branches in up high. Okay, some nice, let's get some nice branches on this. There we go, nice and loose. Softness into the front. And let's get one here. Like that. Again, just having a bit of fun. Don't be too worried about getting everything perfect in this. It's, um, you know, painting has to be fun. For me, it has to be fun anyway. I don't get any pleasure out of painting if I'm trying to be too serious about it and if everything is, I'm trying to get everything absolutely perfect and spot on every time. I don't get any enjoyment from that. I just don't. I like to have a bit of freedom um, and you know, you don't have to have any rules as such. Just as long as you enjoy it and enjoy what you're doing then that's great. That's all that matters and that's the way it should be. So let's, um, no, let's take a smaller flat brush and I'm going to put a little shadow from that, okay? Little shadow, I'll take a touch of white also on that and a nice, now it's a bit dull for me, I want to make it nice and rich, but a phthalo blue, touch of magenta perhaps, let's try that, okay, a little more, let's get more crimson. Make it more red and soften it up then into the tree. And we also have one just behind it there, don't we? Okay, let's do the same with this one. And let's add a little touch of pink into that. I want to warm it slightly. It's very, very dark. Let's just warm it very slightly. And let me take yeah. a look now. I'm going to take some nice rich thalo blue and some magenta. And I'm going to just add a touch of that color here and there. Just on this side of the painting because it's quite cool. And... Um, you know, I can see on the photograph there's lots of that kind of colour here. The very subtle kind of a blue. See, it's just, I want to soften it very gently just into the snow here and there. That's all. Okay, not too much. There, that's even, that's even plenty. So now, I'm going to have, make a little dark colour. I'm going to put some dark, dark colour up against the back of the tree. 
to simulate kind of some of the snow um, kind of gathering at the back of the tree. So just that little kind of poply colour. A little mound of snow just at the back of some of the trees. And then I'm going to take some light colour. Uh, let's take some magenta and some white. Nice light colour for the front to indicate just the light side of some of that snow there. Okay, put a bit here and a bit there. Now, I don't want to go too bright with this. I don't want to spoil what we have. So, let me just show you what I wanted to do with the palette knife, okay? I'm just going to take my flat palette knife and I'm going to take some of this kind of bluey white. Maybe I might even add a touch of pink into this. So, with that bluey white colour just on your palette knife there see just on uh, let's say on this tree a bit darker actually i'm just going to pull some of that across here and there just to give it a little texture of some snow now that's probably even enough let's go a little bit back there and that'll do and then take a fan brush any old fan brush and let's just pull a curve some of this back into the tree just here and there okay that's loads now that'll do fine and then what you could do is with a small brush take a little touch of this kind of a dark blue color here let's get some more thalo blue with some white and a touch of magenta again and even with that colour look you could pop some of that colour in just here and there to suggest um, some snow here and there on the leaves or on the branches rather just a hint of it you don't have to go mad you don't have to go crazy just a slight hint here and there and look you can even put some little flicks in as well isn't this fun and we're pretty much um, almost done with this Do you know just to keep it simple I just kind of wanted to keep it simple I didn't want to go too much into too much detail with this Um, and I really enjoyed painting this one today. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me just fix this now back here. We don't want to be making a mess of it. There is always the risk that you're going to overwork your painting. Um, just be careful about that. I'll add little, couple of little flicks of grass or something here and there. Little, some little twigs. You know, it's just a suggestion of some little details. Very, very small details. Look. Just one or two little flicks of grass popping through the snow here or there. A couple of small things. And I think with that, we'll call this finished. So there. I hope you enjoyed it. Wasn't that nice? Or doesn't it just, I kind of... You know, I kept it simple. Look, what I could do is add little touches of black. Just get some dark colour and add a touch of black here and there on that tree. Create some dark patches on the tree. Okay, just like so. Now, I won't put a bird in. Um, I don't think we need it. Let me just sit back now and see. Is there anywhere else we can improve on this? Um, hmm. No, I think I'm pretty happy with that. You could perhaps put a suggestion of a, a figure of a man. Should we do a figure of a man in there? What about that? Now, again, I don't want to ruin what I have. 
So let's um, let's just try it. Let's put a figure of a man walking through the forest over here. A nice blue one. And we'll have a little shadow coming off of him. And put a little head up here. And there we go. Just a simple little suggestion. And last but not least, let's sign our names. Let's come over here and sign because that's the most important part of the painting, isn't it? Your signature. And let me zoom in now and show you what we have created. It's a very simple um, impression of the photograph. There, little person kind of strolling through the forest. We added some nice little white highlighted snow on the distant trees, you see and over to this very rich yellow. So you can see now how the yellow complements the pink, doesn't it? And the yellow complements the purples, the mauves. Lovely. Isn't that nice? And I'm quite happy with that. I think it turned out lovely. A simple suggestion of some snow, just with a palette knife and the tree trunk, you see? Very simply done. Just keep everything nice and easy. And look, don't be afraid to take a risk. If it's kind of, if it's slightly out of your comfort zone, just try it. Let me turn the camera here now and see. Now, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really, really happy with that. I'll make a nice frame for that now and I'll stick it in the frame. And um, I really hope you enjoyed it. And even got some hints and tips just about colouring and uh, you know blending colours and getting nice complementary colours uh, together on a painting so you could even use little parts of it if you wanted you don't necessarily have to paint the entire painting you could take little sections and make it your own make it into a bigger painting um, add different things maybe a little cottage or something uh, some hills in the distance perhaps so just take whatever you can from it I'm just glad that I was able to paint it for you and give you some help uh, learning about oil painting. So look, this is easy oil painting signing out. I'm thinking next week I'll do that uh, four season challenge. Yes, we'll try that next week. I look forward to that. So go on off, get some paints and have a bit of fun. And again, thank you very much for your support. If you want any brushes or advice or anything, just email me at stephenconaway12 at gmail.com. And uh, follow me on Facebook if you like. And uh, yeah, go and check all the links out and have a bit of fun with your painting, okay? Keep it fun. I'll talk to you later. God bless.